Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Problem is sequential digits. Very easy problem. An integer has sequential digits if and only if each digit in the number is one more than the previous digit. So sequential digit means like if this is this is a sequential digit means the this number is one more than the previous number. Similarly, three is one more than the previous number, which is two. So this is a sequential digit, sequential number. So return a sorted sorted list of all the integers in the range low to high that have sequential digits. So we have to return all the numbers, all the integers which have sequential digits between this range so from 100 to 300 there are two numbers which are which have sequential digits 1 2 3 2 3 4 similarly if you see this one over here 1000 and 13000 so in this uh, between the 1000 and 13000 you can see there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 there are seven sequential integers which have sequential digits see 1 2 2 is greater than 1 then 3 is 1 greater than the previous digit which is 2 like this so if, let's analyze from this how we can approach the problem let's analyze this analyze from this test case so see we need to make the numbers we need to make those numbers which are between 1000 and 13000 right and they should have sequential digits so if you see these numbers can start from 1 also, it can start from 2 also, 3 also, 4, 4, 5, 6, right? So they can start from any digit. They can start from any digit. So uh, let's see how we can uh, make, uh, how can we approach the problem? So this is input given, this is low and this is high. So we will, uh, what we can do is we can generate all the numbers which we can make, right? All the sequential numbers which we can make and then we will see if uh, those numbers are between this range. If that number is between the range, we will add it to our final list. This is a final list. So how to generate all the numbers which I have sequential digits? See, first of all, so we decided that over here, if you see from the in output, the numbers can start from 1, 2, 3 and it can go up to, it can start from 9 also, right? Like that. Right. So, uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Like, right? These all are the digits from which we can start a number. So, if, if we start from 1, starting digit is 1. Now we have to make all the sequential digits. We have to make all the we have to make all the integers which have sequential digits. So after one, if we start our number, start our integer from one. After one, what should come? Two should come because we need to make sequential. Na? So what we have to do is this is our current number. Let's say this is a current number. So in order to make the next next number, what we do? And i over here, let's say i over here is 1 because we are starting from 1. Now if we want to make next number, what we do? Number into 10 plus this uh, next i, let's say next i is 2 because after 1, 2 should come. So number plus i. So what does this become? Num is 1 into 10 plus i is 2. So this makes 12. So see, 1, 2 is, one, two is there. Now, after 2, what should come? i should become 3. And this is our number. So, what we will do again? 12 into number. Number into 10. Number is 12. 12 into 10 plus i, 3. So, this becomes 123. Hence, see, these are sequential digits. We, uh, we are making this integer now and it has sequential digits. But still, this 123 is not between this range, 1000, 13000. So, we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead. So, then what we will make? It will be 123 into 10. I is 4 now. Plus 4. Plus 4. 
so this will be one two three zero plus four that is one two three four now if you see one two three four is between this range one two one two three four is greater than low or equal to and it is less than high so this lies in between this range this lies between the range hence we will we have a output list and in that we will add 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 we will add right and then we uh, uh, we can again traverse further so what we do is uh, now i will become 5 i becomes 5 and 1 2 3 4 into 10 plus i so these are different recursive calls right in each recursive call we increment our i and number gets updated so 124 into 10 1 2 3 4 into 10 plus 5 so this becomes 1 2 3 4 5 and this also lies between the range see 1 2 3 4 5 lies in the range so 1 2 3 5 also we will add in our output list 1 2 3 4 and 5 right then uh, we'll go further i will become 6 so what we will do is number is 1 2 3 4 5 into 10 plus i plus i is 6 so this becomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 12000 uh, sorry this is something uh, this is 1 lakh something so this becomes out of the uh, this becomes greater than high so this we cannot take in our output so if you see 1 2 it's still 1 2 3 4 5 only 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, this this number becomes greater than high this number becomes greater than high right so we will not take it and from here we will return we will just return because now no further number we can make that will be greater than high only so that will not obviously come in the range so we'll return we return we return and this is we this is how we return now let's uh, again we return here and we come here to again we start from 2 again now we start from 2 we return here now we start from 2 so for 2 what we can do next obviously see it's not that after uh, you know we can have different choices like 2 is there then we can have 4 we have to make sequential only so after 2 only there is one option of getting if this is i over here is 2 2 is there so i 3 in the next call so 2 into 10 plus 3 so this is 23 this is 23 so 23 does not lie in the range so we will go and make next recursive call i will become 4 so 23 into 23 into uh, this will be 10 plus i i is 4 so this will become 234 234 also not lies in the range we'll again do so i will become 5 here right and 234 into 10 plus i will be 5 so 2345 now 2345 lies in this range so we will add that in our list 2345 this will be added in the list and then again we will continue further so these are our different different recursive calls we are making right so uh, 2 then i will become 6 2 3 4 5 into 10 plus 6 so this uh, 2 3 4 5 6 that is 23000 now this becomes greater than high high was 13000 so this is not in the output only 2 3 4 5 is in the output right so similarly you can make all the numbers you can make all the other numbers using like 3 then 3 will then after 3 4 will, will become so i'll not make the entire tree but similarly you can make all starting from 4 then starting from 5 starting from see starting from 3 will be 3 4 uh, th 3 4 and then 3 4 5 then 3 4 5 6 so 3 4 5 6 will be a number starting with 3 3 4 5 6 then starting with 4 it will be 4 5 then 4 5 6 then 4 5 6 7 this will be number starting with 4 4 5 6 7 then 5 6 7 8 6 7 8 9 and we cannot make from 7 7 8 will not is, is not in the range then 7 8 9 is also not in the range but 7 8 9 
there is no other digit that we can use 10 we cannot use right so here it will end similarly for 8 also so i hope you understood what approach we are using we are every time making a recursive call so first of all we are having a loop which will start from 1 and go till 9 and these will be our starting digits we are making a recursive call and recursive call we pass this i and the number which is the new number number into 10 plus the current i this is the number which goes in the next recursive call so if that if this number is in the range of uh, like if it is greater than low and less than high if it's greater than low and less than high then then we can add it to in our final list we add it in our final list so let's see the code for this i hope you understood the approach so say see, very simple code what we are doing is we need to see uh, our starting digit could be any no, any digit now from 1 to 9 it could be any digit starting digit 3 4 5 any digit could be the starting digit so we are having a loop in which we are starting from i to 1 and till goes till 9 so we are having this dfs in which we are passing this low high and the current i and number initially we are taking 0 we are starting from 0 so this is dfs call uh, if the number is in the range if lies in the range then we answer then we push it in our answer list final answer list otherwise if the number becomes greater than high or our i becomes greater than 9 so i cannot be uh, that na greater than 9 i cannot be 10 so if i becomes 10 just simply return and otherwise make the dfs call uh, to i plus 1 and number into 10 plus i next call right for example over here what we were doing every time the next call was uh, the next call was like I, I I gets incremented and next call was on this number that is 123 so this is uh, pretty much it and uh, after this for loop is completed in the answer list we'll have all the numbers all the integers which lie in this range and are sequential so we'll sort them because uh, they are asking for a sorted list so we'll just sort them sort the answer list and we'll return so the time complexity for this since we are doing sorting so it will be o of n log n and space complexity will be o of n because we are taking that answer list and uh, over here there is one more approach which we can have for this we just need to find all the sequential uh, all the integers that are sequential na? So what we are, what we can do is we can generate all the sequential digits, all the integers that have sequential digits. That is, see this integer. This integer has sequential digits: four, five, six, seven, eight. All the the these will be some 36, 35, 36. So you can all generate, uh, you can write all of these in an array. Right? These are integers which have sequential digits. Then just simply you can run loop and just check if uh, these uh, any which if any integer is in the range. If it's in the range, then push it. So this is one approach. Uh, this you can use. And otherwise the uh, the approach which we you know which we can use also is this recursion. I hope you understood the approach and the problem. Let me know in the comments if you have any doubt. And if you like the video and it was helpful, please like it. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.